stability issues can derail the success of even the best apps. Buggy apps make your users unhappy, and they might uninstall your app, leave a bad App Store review, or write negative social media. Apps can generate a lot of different crashes, and manually tracking them is time consuming. Even if you're able to collect all of this data, it's difficult to figure out which crashes to troubleshoot and fix first. Firebase Crashlytics helps by automatically collecting, analyzing, and organizing your crash reports. It also helps you understand which issues are most important so you can prioritize those first and keep your users happy. It combines a real-time dashboard and alerts to keep you aware of your newest issues and any sudden changes in stability. The dashboard shows crashes ranked by overall impact on your users, giving you the information you need at a glance. Crashes are intelligently grouped across versions of your app, with individual stack traces easily explored in the dashboard. Sometimes you might hear about crashes from users that you can't reproduce. With the help of logs and key value pairs in Crashlytics, you can add some context to each stack trace and see what your app was doing before the crash. When the crash is reported, this extra information is sent to Crashlytics, becomes visible in the dashboard, and gives you the context you need to help pinpoint the exact cause of the crash. Non-fatal errors can be reported in the dashboard too, so when your code fails but doesn't crash your app, you can still get full reports in the dashboard. If your app is built with the NDK on Android, Crashlytics will capture native stack traces as well. Crashlytics is easy to integrate with zero lines of code required on Android. With iOS, just use CocoaPods for simple integration. You can count on Crashlytics to help stay on top of the stability of your app, spend less time troubleshooting issues, and more time doing what you love with Crashlytics. And to learn more and get started with Firebase Crashlytics, check out the documentation right here.